Hello and welcome to the Monday, April 19th Capital OTB Daily Report sponsored by CapitalOTBBet.com. This is Mike Callahan from the Capital OTB Marketing Department. Hope you're doing well on this Monday morning and uh, a lot to recap when we go over the stakes recap here in a second. But before we do that, definitely want to remind everybody as we just still do have the retweet promotion going on. If you're listening on Twitter right now, you can retweet it for a chance at the end of the week to get some Capital OTB uh, memorabilia. We, we have uh, one person that we choose at the end of the week uh, that will get a Capital OTB giveaway. So definitely want to take advantage of the retweet giveaway that we do going that we do have going on here with the uh, Capital OTB daily report on a daily basis. Uh, but like I said, uh, we have the stakes recap a little bit later on uh, agenda as far as the Monday goes here at Capital OTB, and then some promotions that we have going on. Obviously, with a couple weeks to the Kentucky Derby, we have a lot of promotions going on, things to look forward to. Uh, with the first Saturday of May coming up. Uh, but like I said before, I want to start out with a stakes recap. And there's a big weekend. We'll highlight two races down at Oaklawn, uh, both being million-dollar races. You had the Oaklawn handicap a little bit earlier on. And then the showdown, which was a highly anticipated showdown between Monomoy Girl and Swiss Skydiver. But first, we will talk about that Oaklawn handicap, which was a wide-open race. You had Owendale, a horse coming in off a second-place finish, uh, and, and a horse that was... Uh, highly regarded by many uh you had uh, like a horse uh, silver state who had won uh five in a row and uh was coming in with very good form you also had express train uh coming in and fearless who took a lot of the money uh but down the stretch it was a wide open race uh, express train had taken the lead fearless was coming up the rail and on the outside silver state was able to get up just in the nick of time and win fifth straight race, getting a 101 buyer. Very nice performance. Went off at a generous price, uh, just over four to one uh, on that uh, in that race. And a very nice performance. And again, a horse that's been in tremendous form, starting to get a little bit of a win streak together, winning five in a row. And a horse to look forward to uh, in the handicap division. A little bit later on, we saw the apple blossom between Monomoy Girl and Swiss Skydiver, the showdown. Uh, but also a horse named Latresco is in there. And uh, it ended up being an outstanding race, one that you, if you didn't get a chance to watch on Saturday, was an epic showdown, but it was between two different horses than we thought. We thought it was going to be Monomoy Girl and Swiss Skydiver, but at the top of the stretch, Monomoy Girl was able to collar Lutresca and open up by a length at mid-stretch, and Lutresca under Rod Ortiz Jr. was able to dig in on the rail, come back, and win by a nose. It was an unbelievable race. By both, but extremely gutsy by Lutresca, who was passed and was able to resurge and get up to win by Noah's. Both got 102 buyers, and I think will progress forward. Obviously, disappointing for the connections of Modern White Girl, who had that tremendous record coming in 14 of 16 lifetime. Uh, but again, both were very, very gutsy. Disappointing from Swiss Skydiver, uh, and you saw the, uh, if you read articles, uh, Ken McBeak uh, was a little, he couldn't pinpoint what had happened uh, obviously just a disappointing effort and they'll go back to the barn and sort of reset and figure out the game plan game plan for the the year going forward so uh just an unbelievable race in the apple blossom one for the ages and uh very nice performance by latresca and silver state to get the million dollar races down at oakland uh, so that's a little bit of a stakes recap for this past weekend hit you with the action today here at capital otb on this monday uh, morning and afternoon into the night. Uh, so we're going to start off in the morning with uh, English racing. And then at noon, we'll have Saratoga Harness, which has $2,000 in their jackpot pick six carryover. We're also going to have Monticello at 1210. Pocono Downs at 1230. We'll have Parks kick it off at 1255. Uh, we'll have Will Rogers at 2 o'clock. Miami Valley at 205. 225, Indiana Grand is now back in action. They just had their opening day last week. They have 6,500 in their jackpot pick six carryover right now, so you might, may want to dive into that. We'll have Plain Ridge at 4 o'clock. 425, Turf Paradise. And their jackpot pick six, which is sneaky, is starting to accumulate to a big pool. So if you want to take a stab at this jackpot pick six, as many have that, uh, that gimmick wager, Turf Paradise is currently at 225,000. So again, it's a unique bet. If you're able, if you're the only one to hit it, you're able to, to to get the payout. So again, with the pool being so big right now, you may want to take a stab at that. Yonkers at 715. Uh, they have 676 dollars. 
uh, carried over from their pick six. Pompano at 720. They have $17,000 in their jackpot super high five carryover. And then you'll have Australian racing and Japan racing after midnight. Uh, so again, that's the uh, the rundown for this Monday here at Capital OTB. And then also want to hit you with promos. Uh, first, we'll start out with this week uh, in, in taking a look. And then first and foremost, before we talk about promos, uh, the headliner we have going on right now is our sign-up bonus. We were able to increase it. Uh, to a $200 new member sign-up bonus. So essentially how it works is sign up for an account at capitalotbbet.com and you'll see the sign-up button. Once you're able to put in your information and deposit $200, once you wager $400, you'll get $200 back. And it's as clear and cut and dry as, as that, uh, which is great. There's no stipulations to it. Again, just to, you sign up for an account, deposit $200, wager $400, and you get $200 back in the sign-up bonus. So... Uh, again, take advantage of that if you don't have an account here at Capital OTB. A lot of promos that we did. We just did eight promos last week. This week, we have six promos going on. Uh, on Thursday, we're going to have a $200 pick four bankroll with Seth Merrill. He'll be taking a look at the early and late pick four at Keeneland. Belmont also opens, so you definitely want to note that. On, on Friday, we're going to have a triple promo. We'll have the prize wheel. The Clubhouse Racebook, again, 7-Eleven Central Ave, always a fun promo, chance to spin the wheel uh, for some prizes and uh, uh, voucher giveaways. Uh, also on Friday, we're going to have a $100 Winnebet contest, and that's going to be online. So you can go to capitalotb.com and then look for under promotions for the $100 Winnebet. You can sign up and be part of that. Uh, Keelan Track Bonus Day, and the way that our track bonuses work, um, it's going to be designated to the one track, obviously Keelan. Um, and then it's the top 25 highest wagering account holders that specific day on Keeneland will get a $10 deposit into their account. So again, a triple promo day on Friday with the prize wheel, $100 win a bet, Keeneland track bonus as well. Then on Saturday, we're going to have a OTB live bankroll at the clubhouse race book uh, and also Churchill Downs opens. So with us taking nighttime thoroughbreds on Saturday, uh, we're going to have the OTB live bankroll go from three to seven uh, so that we can sort of carry it into the nighttime action with some picks and plays as well. So again, look for that. Uh, and you can stop down to the clubhouse to put your name in the hat. Uh, but we'll also be doing that uh, via TV as well. So if you're watching on Capital OTB TV, uh, you can watch the bankroll as the plays will be on there as well. And then on Sunday, we're going to have a double promo at the clubhouse with a $100 play the board contest and also match bet to go along with it. Uh, so those are the promos for this week. Also want to alert you to uh, promos that are coming up related to the Kentucky Derby. We just had our Kentucky Derby $5,000 Derby Syndicate, and that filled up very fast. Uh, so we actually are going to do a separate additional one uh, and look for that this week as we will be putting out information of when signups are going to start for that. And that one's going to be a $2,500 uh, Kentucky Derby Syndicate 2. So we'll call it Syndicate 1 that just closed as that uh, team is full. We'll open up a team two here this week. So look for that if you want to be part of the Kentucky Derby Syndicate number two. Uh, also, we're going to have the Kentucky Derby Seminar on Wednesday, April 28th. That's going to be at 7 o'clock. That's going to be on uh, social media. So if you watched us on YouTube Live or Facebook Live, you can catch the seminar at 7 o'clock. It's going to be myself. Uh, it's going to be Seth Merrow and Brian Nadow, who's actually down at Churchill Downs and is part of the notes team down there. So he'll be, we'll, be, we'll be taking a look at the complete card, uh, focusing on the stakes, and then obviously the main focus being the Kentucky Derby. But again, look for that at 7 o'clock on Wednesday, April 28th. Uh, Kentucky Oaks Day is going to come, come up that Friday, uh, so definitely want to note that. And then on Kentucky Derby for Saturday in May, which is that Saturday, uh, we're also going to have first 100 at the Clubhouse Racebook. We'll get a commemorative glass a Kentucky Derby glass. So again, be part of the first hundred as the doors were open early that day at nine o'clock. And then also we're going to have a ladies promotion where the first hundred ladies to walk through the, the clubhouse race book will get a individual rose. So if you're uh, listening and you want to stop by, uh, the first hundred ladies will be able to get an individual rose. So definitely want to take advantage of that. And then also reservations are still available at the Clubhouse Facebook as well. Uh, we do have limited capacity right now, uh, but we do have some carols that are open. We also are utilizing some other rooms as well. 
Uh, we have a conference room and also a grandstand in there. So uh, we still do have limited seating available, and you can call or stop by the Clubhouse Racebook to reserve your seat for the Kentucky Derby. So again, a lot to look forward to here at Capital OTB with promos. Uh, good luck on this Monday. See you tomorrow.